Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So this is a different kind of tutorial. I never really just put together something small, but I wanted to do this golf cart. I really want to layer it. I want it to pop. So I thought it would be great to kind of do this together. <laughs> so um, some pieces on this golf cart, because this golf cart is six inches wide and I want to put it, it's not necessarily a cake topper because it's kind of small, but I do want to put it on this little stick, this little straw and kind of have it with um, the rest of the party decor, which I will show you. This is just all, this is a Hershey bar. Um, so it's let's party, party and celebrate Olivia. So she has a golf cart there. So I really wanted to incorporate these colors. I want it to be um, kind of girly and cute. I know her favorite color is teal. So I tried to do teal but i threw in a lot of pink as well so um but this is so cute let me show you and then it has even like the lip smackers so you can totally i know the glare sorry it's so cute for all the little party favors so we can really get into a theme i didn't think i could do a really good golf theme because um i'm not a golfer but look how cute this is <laughs> okay so my tip first thing is always put together so this this golf cart looks stinking cute right it's got a lot of layers but let me show you what didn't make the cut look at everything that i cut that i'm not going to use so there was another layer for the black and i felt like the only thing black i kept was the tires i felt like it made the whole thing too dark so i got rid of all of that look at these little baby golf clubs I just don't think that I, I felt like this outline right here is enough, so I'm not dealing with that. So, you know, the thing with paper crafting and crafting in general is it's all the extra little details that you put together, but there's a nice combination uh, between getting the layers and the details and then going overboard. Like this would probably give me <laughs> a headache and a meltdown at some point. It's not worth it. So, you know, kind of just make your choices. There's enough going on here. This cart, like I said, is stinking cute, but it was so hard to work with. So I might show you the design space tutorial on that. I got rid of a lot of details even before this. So just imagine how much more we would have cut. So, all right, you want to put this together because you want to know how to layer it. Like, you know, first thing is the top layer is going to be this armrest, right? So you want to make sure that you put down the seat cushions before that, you know, so you, you want to get a feel for where everything goes. So I'm going to start to move things aside. We are going to be using foam tape where we can. And again, as much as I would love to have everything pop up a little bit some of these pieces are so small it's not worth the headache of adding these little foamed squares so for the layers that we can't do i'm using barely art glue the reason why is because it dries quickly it dries clear but this is the thing it has the precision tip so it really puts out just a little enough glue to get it going um, but it doesn't get your project really messy, which I need help with because I tend to get glue all over my fingers and then, you know, you smear everything. So, <laughs> um, let's talk about the layers. I did do an outline of white to keep it really light. And then I have my, um, my metallic, it's like a foil, I think foil paper of silver and it's shimmery because I wanted my golf clubs, my irons to be that color. So here is what you have. Now I had a problem with design space, you know, offset is amazing in design space, but it doesn't always work. I could not get this outline with this open space. So I had to slice, I had to do an offset of 0 0.10. I like that because I like the, I, I, for offsets, I, I tend to like the thinner look. So you can see it's not like a heavy outline. So I did 0 0.10 for the offset and then negative 0 0.10 so that I could slice out the inside. The offset for whatever reason filled in this whole thing. So that was the only way I can do it. So we can, let's see if there's enough space. There isn't. So for this offset, 
I'm just gonna glue it down. I'm not gonna go and get myself all worked up. <laughs> so let's start with the glue. Um, so with this glue, after every use, um, this is the stopper that you put in to keep, you know, like overnight for weeks at a time or whatever. Um, so I always unscrew this and I run it under warm water and then the way I wash it is it comes with this pin. So I have this pin, I'm poking it inside the hole and running water so it's cleaning out the thing until like my, my um, needle is comes out clean. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right, so let's see, how are we gonna do this? Um, all right, so I am going to run, because there's gonna be a little bit of an offset, so I'm gonna stick as close as I can to the inside. And I don't know, you. I don't think you can really see, but it's such a thin line of glue right now that I'm just in love. And this works really well for those party favors that you just saw. Um, now I'm getting some on my um, on my table. So what I'm gonna wanna do is after I put this on, I'm gonna lift it up and have it dry in my hands so that it's not drying to my mat. Okay. And then, oh, I should have just flipped it over such a dummy sometimes <laughs> so i don't wipe this up and that's going to be clear i could have just done this and put glue around the edges which is what i'm going to do now just to make sure that it sticks really well and then while it's drying what we can do is we can layer some of the pieces okay so i'm just going to pick this up and Put it over there let's look at these tires these tires are super layered so we can easily work on that as well as these little seat cushions so let's do that and see okay i think that's okay um but it's gonna be lopsided so i'm gonna want scissors And I'm gonna want that on this piece as well. So this design is super cute. It's layered and it's not layered evenly. So you get little peaks um, of the color. And so it's kind of nice too because when it's, sometimes when things aren't even, then it's just easier to put down, right? Because it, it can be a little off and it that's the way it was intended to be. Um, but it's good and bad because when it is even, then you know exactly where to put it. <laughs> so you can't have it both ways, right? All right, so here's the little seat cushion. You can barely see the pink, but it just pops through. I mean, that's the whole thing about this card is it is kind of subtle because there's so many layers. So you have just like this, um, the top canopy is four different colors. It's all the colors that you see. Um but you only get little, little glimpses of the color. So it's kind of cool. It's a lot of work, <laughs> but it's going to look amazing. Okay, so that little guy's down. I'm gonna put this down. Okay, and I think this guy is probably dry. I got some glue on here. We can clean up the glue afterwards, so don't worry about that. Okay, there we go. So you can see I got a little bit of glue here, but with, um, rubbing alcohol it will on a little q-tip it will take everything out 
So, okay, so we have that. We can put the seats down. Um, so this is what I would recommend. If you plan on doing this theme, I would not do the golf cart um, as like cake toppers. It's way too many details for that. You, I would do a print and cut or something else. You have to do one big cart. Um, otherwise, it's way too much work. Okay, so check out. So we've got the white layer, the silver layer, and then three colors for this top little canopy. Like I said, it's it's got a lot of detail. So this little guy, geez, so you can see like the little silver just peeks through a little bit, but it in the end, it's all the little details, right? So let me move this up a little bit so you can see it better. And then I'm gonna start layering this. I don't know, it might take an hour to put this thing together. <laughs> um, okay. And I'm actually sitting down, which I hardly ever do for a tutorial, so sometimes I can't see past. Okay. I have my screen over on this side, so if you see me looking that way, that's what's going on. Okay, I think this blue layer is big enough for the foam tape. But the pink layer, I'm just going to glue straight down onto the blue because it's got enough layers. We don't need to burden ourselves with another layer like that. Okay, and this little pink layer, I'm just gonna glue down. That you can see, right? Okay. So cute. So you can see it pops out. Okay. Um, so the next thing I want to put down are the tires. So let's go and put Now, I think with this one, the gray doesn't need to show through, but I'm going to offset it so that it does because I, I really like this metallic. It just gives it a little bit, a little extra. <laughs> All right. And don't worry because this is going to sit on top covering the wheel so you're not going to be losing um you know any space where it looks awkward and i think that's going to be the last layer that i'm going to put the tape everything else i'm going to glue on or maybe one more layer maybe one more layer Now, um, I had just cut a man, man, mandala. Um, so it was 16 or 17 layers. So my blade was getting a little bit wonky. So I just cut everything twice. That's always an option. Um, I'm a big fan of using the off-brand blades from Amazon. So that's in my Amazon shop if you want to check that out. But it's so cheap that as soon as things don't cut well, I'll just switch out my blade. Um, and so I I buy a lot of things from Cricut, but with the blades, I just love it. So I do go off brand for that. It's so cheap. And so that's what I'm doing. Okay. 
I mean, these tires are crazy. So I'm just dotting it with some glue, plopping it down, and you can see how easy it is. And you just get the little bit of color, and I just feel like, um, like these details, I'm all for it because uh, my machine, you know, the machine cuts really easily, um, the circles, so I'm not gonna lose any sleep over, you know, it's not intricate details. Um, so I like that, and I like the little pop of color that it, I think I'm, I need to offset the white a little bit though. Cause you can barely see it on this side. Okay, so our tires are down. Um, I think the bag needs to go next. So this is the little golf bag. I'm definitely going to put some foam tape. And I love that the top of the bag is another layer. So you're really gonna get the detail. So that's the first layer and then here's the little bag. Now, unfortunately, it's so thin. So it's just gonna, I'm just going to glue it on, but, hmm, I do want it to be popping up a little bit. All right, let me get out my scissors. All right, let's see if I can cut this better than last time though. All right, here we go. All right, that looks good. Let's see what else do we have. Okay, so this is last. This is the little armrest. So I think all we have left are the layers of the body of the car, the golf cart. Okay, so that should be easy. These are thick pieces, so we're going to be putting foam tape on them for sure. running out of time, but I really wanted this as a cake topper would be so cute because then you can have a golf ball on a tee, you can have the little grass, so you get a pop of green in there as well, and then a lot of white, which you can also layer the white, so I think it would look really, really good. Okay, let's So that's one layer. Let's get the next blue layer. And um, these foam squares are from the Dollar Tree. I like them because they're really thick. They're a quarter of an inch. And so it really lifts up your project and gives you a, just a really good overall look. It, to me, it looks really expensive because you can see all the layers and the details. So it just looks more, um, I like that more than the flat look where you just have the layers. You could still have a lot of layers, but if you don't do this, it's gonna look a little on the flat side. All right, here we go. So you see the little pop of the blue behind it? It's just a little bit. It's everything where you just get a glimpse of color. And I find that that design is so pretty. I just wish it was um, a little bit more user-friendly. It would just, 
<laughs> it was really hard for me to change the colors not because the actual changing the colors is easy right you just click on the thing and then you change the colors but i could not tell the different things apart so the way i did it in design space was i was just on the right hand side panel i was just moving things and just saying okay this is going to be pink this is going to be blue this is going to be the lighter blue because i just couldn't tell what was what anymore Oh my gosh, it's pretty stinking cute. I really like the golf clubs and the bag. So this has more detail, but you know, I just, I just can't do it. <laughs> All right, let's put on this little, this little guy right here. Um, does it go this way? It does go this way. Okay. So this little guy is not going to get any foam tape. He's just going to be glued down at the bottom right there. And the only thing left, okay, we're almost done. I'm gonna move all this out of the way. The only thing left is um, these little, just the little details. Um, it goes around like this. I don't know if I, if I wanna add it. Oh, I guess it's cute, okay, I'll add it. And I'm just gonna use my little tweezers to place it down. And then I'm gonna pick up this little guy. Goes on top, of course it does, right? And I'm gonna clean it up before I stick it on this little guy, which I think I'm gonna stick right here. Oh, I don't know. This might need two. I can't, yeah. It either is going to go here as one, or I would do two on the wheels. All right. Or maybe, yeah, because this will be too lopsided. Okay. We did it. Look how cute this is. So it's two shades of pink, which the other shade of pink is in the wheels. And then it is two shades of, no, three shades of blue, but where, I know I cut three shades of blue, but I, did we only use two? Maybe we only ended up using two. I don't know. Yeah, I think, cause like, I don't know where this goes, this little handle piece. Oh, I think it's by the seat. I think it curves with the seat like that. Oh, that's kind of cute. Okay, I'm adding it. Hold on. <laughs> um, and then a, a white, and the silver, and then the black. Oh my gosh, I can't get it in there. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue to the back and then I'm gonna hold it down. There. Okay, so that was cute. <laughs> that little blue, I don't, I'm trying to see if there's anything more that we wanna add. See that you, we could add a little bit more of silver right there. Oh, that looks good. I like that detail. Okay, we're gonna continue. And we 
we're just going to hold it down while it's drying. Because it only takes a few seconds for it to dry. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. All right, let me look. Let me see what else. There's a little thin layer here that goes in the steering wheel. So it just gives it a little bit more pop. Should we do it? I guess we should since I have it. <sighs> All right, here we go. Now on this one, I'm just tempted to like dry it off a little bit before I put it in. No. This goes here. But I feel like that makes it too dark, so I don't like that. So I'm going to take that out. All right, I think that's it. That's all I'm going to do. All right. <laughs> Let me know what else you want to see. But look how cute this is. So this goes with all of this all one cute little theme. All right, see you guys next time. Let me know what you wanna see, if you want me to put together more things, um, if this was helpful, the supplies, all that good stuff. All right, bye. <laughs>